Morgan. Hello, my name is Eric. And I'm Mateo. And welcome to the first installment of Do, Do It, it yourself. yourself. So today we're going to show you how to get a pencil out of a Yamaha grand piano. And right here we have a, actually a pen. It's, not, it's basically the same. Not a big difference. And right there is a pretty common spot for it to fall or sit when you're writing. And look at that. First thing that happens, falls in between the fall board and actually lands in the back of the keys there. Right there I'm kind of testing to see if you can actually hear it. In that case you can't, but usually you can hear it clicking around. So what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to actually take off the music desk. Not entirely necessary, but I like to get a lot of light in into the uh, area where I'm going to be looking around. And that kind of clears it up. This is the fall board I'm kind of playing with. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just pull it directly up when it's in the fully open position. <laughs> You'll see it pop up right there. And uh, it actually pops right out of its notch. There's a little resting spot, which uh, Eric's handy camera work has shown. You'll find anything inside these pianos sometimes. Toy dinosaurs, if you have kids, playing cards, all kinds of things. Everything imaginable. And there's our lovely 99 cent pin. It's actually a slightly bit more expensive than most pins. It's high quality. We didn't want to lose that one. Yeah. And actually, that's a terrible spot to have it because it will clank around. You see, it's really close to the action. Over here is another uh, pre-placed pin that we dropped in one of the worst spots to lose a pin. It's important game. to note, you really shouldn't touch the dampers. We did everything wrong here. <laughs> See how he's kind of lodging the damper. Yeah. If you <laughs> mess that careful. damper up, it could cause your notes to ring and then it just won't sound very good after that. And over here I'm uh, loosening the screw for the dog block or cheek block, which you'll see in a sec. Um, and that's the the next step after taking out the fall board and just pops straight up like that there it is it's nice one easy screw you don't even need a screwdriver or anything with hand there's the second one located on the right and left side now what I'm actually gonna do is loosen up the key slip which is that front rail in front of the keys and this one's actually lodged in there pretty good which pretty common for pianos that haven't been opened in a little while and right here you can see the notch in which the cheek block sits and locks it into place and uh, that's why this one doesn't actually have any screws which lock it in but instead those dowels to seat it in the right place and the, the notches that lock in from the cheek blocks fit in those holes right there there's, there's my finger it's important to note that you should always check the hammer line before you pull an action we actually recommend that a qualified tech do this procedure because when you pull out as many actions as we do, you're pretty much guaranteed to break one or two every once in a while. It's guaranteed. And right there, what I did was I grabbed it from the right and left sides without pressing down or depressing any of the keys. That would actually raise the hammers up and cause you to snap a hammer. And there is the pen conveniently located behind the action. Uh, to close up the piano, just follow the steps in reverse. And remember, just take your time and be careful. If you'd like to see a how-to on any other type of piano, subscribe to our videos and send us a message. Thanks for watching. Thanks.